service. What's up? It is Live Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Gigi McGuire. And it's Sabian. Hey, girl. Hey. Listen, we thought this is only appropriate now. Every week we come up here to Engine Room Audio to do lip service. And every week we sit down and chit chat with Avian and we have some great girl talk. So she's here with us today on lip service. And we're going to start with the tip of the day. Avian, what do you do here just so people know? Well, um, I do a lot, man. Mm-hmm. You know, just managing the spot, helping Scotty, dealing with bookings, you know, making sure the engineers are on point with the sessions, just. You kind of halfway manage the studio. Yeah, way. yeah. It's a lot, but it's it's great. You know, everything that we do here, all the podcasts, lip service is great. Every week is, 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 is hilarious, opening. man. Yeah. Leg opening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it weird? Because I'm sure guys come up here and try to kick it to you because you're a cute girl. Yeah. Very attractive. So how do you handle that? Um, I mean, you just got to know the industry that you in, you know, this music industry, you're going to deal with that every day if you're a pretty chick, no matter where you go. So I think I just, you know. Because people know. always say that. How do you handle it when you work, you know, you're working and guys mm-hmm. are, are flirting with you, coming on to mm-hmm. you? How do you handle that? If you're, Especially if you're not interested. But you don't want to offend somebody at yeah, the same time. Yeah, I think you got to keep it friendly. And I think, you know, depending on how you come off to the person they would know immediately if you're rocking with them or not you know what I mean it's it's one thing to flirt friendly but you know I think if you're trying to take it to the next level is is pretty obvious so you know I'm always friendly with the guys is again this industry is just male driven so I deal with men every day all the guys that work here is a bunch of them but you know it's it's an adventure it's fun I learn from them I learn people from always the guys. ask me that they're like how do you deal with guys trying mm-hmm. to kick guys it to so you much. yeah it's just something you got to get used to mm-hmm. you know it's something you got to deal with if you're going to be in this industry again it's a male driven industry so you got to get used to it the worst for me is like, even if you're really nice and they still can't take the curve. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the respect worst. the curve. Because yeah. you know why? Because sometimes persistence overcomes resistance. I'm sure we've all given right. into a persistent right, guy. Right, right. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works. You know, I'm not going to lie. It works. Yeah. It's like getting a job. You know, right. I'm going to keep on checking in mm-hmm. and seeing if it works out. And if one day yeah. you get caught slipping, right. you know, one I'm day, a, if one day you're drunk. Right. Or, you know, <laughs> upset about something or bored or lonely. Maybe. Bored. You, gotta hit you know what? Up, this yeah. guy be hitting me all the time. Fuck it. He the only one Come around. Over. Yeah. <laughs> it does happen, though. I'm, yeah. It happened to all of us, I'm yeah. sure. Right. Yeah. For sure. That persistent yes. guy. But yeah. it's just that if you're not interested at all. Now, is there rules against like dating somebody that comes up here? Or is it bad? Like, do they tell you not to? Um. Or is it just like at your own discretion? I mean, I. I've never been told not to, you know, I think we're all adults, but it's just keeping it at a level where it's still respectful and it's not, you know, it's not messing with anyone. It's not messing with the business. Do you think it's not respectable? Like, what do y'all think if a girl is working someplace, like say we came in here and and a woman was working here, but you know, a few people done came in and is it, does it matter? For me, I think, um, I feel like once you once you have sex with somebody and you see them every day, it makes things awkward. But would you look at somebody differently? Like if you work, you know, if we came up in here and Avian, not at all, because I don't know, Avian don't do nothing like that. But let's just say like, you know, several guys was like, yeah, you know, Avian. Would you be like, damn, would would you look at her like like she's less of a professional? Yes. Yes. Yeah. One hundred and fifty percent. Because even if you are going to do some dirt like, in your oh, workplace, uh, then you need to not do it excessively to right. where so people yeah, more than people one know. You know, like and if, if Avion was it towing up here, she would be like, "Oh, look, that's the thought that works up here." Right? <laughs> look, yeah. look then, guys, if, you, if you're interested, and then that'll be super uncomfortable for me. You know, right? I'll right. be super. You'd be like, "Danny, talk about me." <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, you you know who you fuck, so it's like mm-hmm. you. You yourself would be uncomfortable in that situation. Not even them talking about you. You yourself would be like, oh, shit. Here's this I always dude. say that if guys have respect for you, they're not going to talk shit about yeah. you. Yep. Right. Like if they respect you, they're not going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I hit that. Because they right. won't even look at you like that. Yep. They right. respect you too mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. So they want to talk no shit. Yeah. And I was having that conversation the other day. Um, one of my friends, he was like, you know, I could be in a room with four chicks that I fucked and I won't say anything. Right. You know, it's. Well, he sounds a little grimy. Yeah. I mean, but in a sense, you're, <laughs> I'm just kidding. in a sense, you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, I fucked her and her and her. It's like it's it's your business. If you guys could keep it on the low and, and you don't have to spread that out to everybody, then right. just keep it to yourself. If you guys are respect respectful to each other, then, you know. Now, let's say somebody came up in here and one of us, you know, slept with him. Would you tell other people or would you keep that between you and him? Like, let's just say we had somebody in here and we're like, oh, you know, 
just so y'all know, like, uh, or is that private information? I would probably tell y'all. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, would I wouldn't circle, like mention yeah. it during the show, right. but I would like quietly on tell low, y'all like, girl. Yeah. Let me tell you about yeah, this I wouldn't mention it on the show either, but right. of course I would tell y'all. Yeah, I tell you off guys the record. everything. Right? Would you tell say. us if he was whack? Yeah, I would, yeah. Tell, I would you really know, tell y'all if it was whack. I'll tell y'all if it was whack, if it was good, <laughs> size. Lip service, you know those off the record yeah. conversations you gotta... Mm-hmm. Me, and my, me and my best friend, those, we, are the we mics have off? a code. Conversation. <laughs> yeah, we have a code when it comes to um, guys' um, dick size, like without people knowing. Well, now everybody's gonna know. But um, <laughs> when um, like if it was if it was an average size, we'd be like, man, he was like at 65 percent. You know, the battery when your battery. Right. Dying. It's like but it could still last for a few. Yeah. And then somebody with a little bit mad. He was 15 percent. He's on low power mode. <laughs> you want to be like, man, he's about to die. Yeah, he's on, low, then, he's on then, low power mode. Low power mode. And then, and then if, it if, was if it's really big, we'll say, oh, he had the, the Mofi extra he's charge. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, now you know normally we start off with the tip of the day. So today's tip is how do you tell somebody if they got you a present that you don't really like it? Or should you tell them? That's tough. Uh, That's tough. It depends on the situation. It depends on the present. It depends on how bad the present yeah. is. Like if it's something that they would expect, if it's like clothing or something that they would expect you to wear mm-hmm. or expect to see you in or you know, something like that, then I would probably tell them like, you know, even though it's so nice, it's just not my style. Mm -hmm. It's just not for me. This is funny because um, one of my best friends, uh, a guy gave her a charm for her bracelet and it's um, the title of the charm. (laughs) <laughs> is um our first our first dance right it's two it's a boy and a girl you know one of those what? Pandora bracelets so it's a boy and a girl and it's first dance and she's like when she opens it, she's eight? like she's like but we've never danced before wow. <laughs> how long have they been dating or were like dating? a year or something mm-hmm. and then um well they're like on and off because she has another boyfriend but that's a whole different right yeah that's a whole different that's a dance story. in yeah. itself yeah that's a whole different dance <laughs> but um she's like we didn't dance on our first date like if if it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense there's no type of connection yeah, maybe so he, he was wants so to sick. dance yeah that's what I told her I was like maybe you should like maybe, bust out a yeah. groove and maybe that, yeah. that's a tough situation like a, because the way she class yeah the way Waltz she kind of took the gift is like mm, like she what is what is but he put so much sounds like he got it in a it. gift bag he did, he did put a lot of <laughs> sounds like a re-gift, <laughs> okay, re-gift on, situation yeah. <laughs> no you know what okay so I had an ex-boyfriend and he used to give me the worst presents ever and we were together for a long time like five years yeah. and his presents used to be Terrible. I used to be like, dude. Like, he would be so excited to give them to you. He wouldn't even be, be excited. He just wasn't a thoughtful person. Oh. And he would give me the worst presents. And I never would say anything, but it would make me mad. Right. So when we did break up, now he did cheat on me. And, you know, I found out. And then I was like, okay. And I was thinking to myself, he got me whack presents anyway. And that's like, I think you could put up with a lot more when somebody treats you really good and mm-hmm. is like thoughtful and everything. But because... You know, he got me whack presents and he didn't treat me like, like he right, was cheating. Like he cheated. It and was the easy was for you to be like, yeah. Come on. Uh, like, I got listen, it. take your little homemade purse. <laughs> 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 he bought you a homemade oh, purse. Oh, but shit. no lie, he was like, yo, this woman in my job makes purses. He really bought me a purse for <laughs> someone mm-hmm. in his job. But then in those situations no. when people buy you, continuously buy you gifts that you don't like is it that they're not paying attention to what you do like or they just picking up whatever maybe you know it's their I mean? personal like, taste yeah it's bad but his mm-hmm. taste was good he bought himself all kind of nice stuff mm-hmm. maybe you know what I think better. I think he never had like a for real like the girlfriend he had before me was like basic she not like even that bags. but he never had like no real girlfriend that he really did stuff for right. so it probably was his most serious relationship so it was like a learning experience yeah, so I was like his guinea pig I'm sure he's he was great buying now. you amateur gifts right he was mm-hmm. just didn't know he was know. amateur gifting yeah. <laughs> like he went on vacation <laughs> and he came back with like some type of shell necklace Mm-mm. What? From that he, the, that he probably bought at the airport <laughs> oh my god I can't even imagine you making that call to one of your girlfriends like girl this guy gets and I was like I don't want to be and it's not even that I'm materialistic or I'm an asshole right. I just felt like this is all I yeah, can't even put wear a little more ever in life right. right and then one time he got me a Juicy Couture perfume set 
It smelled disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I was like, where did he smell? Yeah, that's like teenager. Mm-hmm. Where did he get it from? Like Century Twenty One or something? Where did he get it from? I think Dwayne he got it at Reed? Bloomingdale's or something. But it was oh, listen. Yeah. I just and Juicy it wasn't was like teenage perfume. Probably the same mm-hmm. place you got the um what? the charm. Exactly. But I, I do feel like at the time I should have said something to him. Yeah. Because I felt like it was wrong for me not to say nothing, but it was making me madder and madder. And you said, it and I wasn't thing. saying anything. But then what would you say? Because I felt like it would be ungrateful to be like. I don't really like these right, presents you're giving me. Saying. So I wanted to be appreciative of it. Mm-hmm. But I just, it, like, it was build. It was like a build up. Yeah. You know how sometimes you're like, okay, I don't want to be an asshole, so I'm not going to say yeah. nothing. But it built up. And After I, like, a while, exploded. I probably would have had this. Yeah. And I was like, mm-hmm. these whack ass presents. Like, it just. It, oh, you did <laughs> say you something. Talk. I did. But, oh. I, but it was like way later. I see yeah. I gave him like eight terrible presents. <laughs> yeah, see, after present number three, I'd have been like, listen, bruh. Let's we're good. Just yeah, no. Give card. Give me the money. Give, give cards only. Yeah. Here now everybody that. was talking about Black China and Rob Kardashian getting engaged mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. ring that he bought her. Right, seven carats. Seven carats. So ring, somebody ring. was asking me, you know, what? How much do you think somebody should spend on a ring? Like, if you was gonna get engaged, how does it? Like, what do you expect somebody to spend? Um. I, it depends on the situation. Mm-hmm. Like if, um, if it's, it depends on what he does for a living, what you do for a living, mm-hmm. what's going on. Cause in general, I mean? they say three months salary. Okay. Three is months what you're salary. supposed to spend on a ring. On a ring. Mm. My friend just got engaged and her ring was like 45,000. That's a lot. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. That's a nice, nice a ring. decent number. Yeah. I, I agree with Steph. I think it's just really, you know, your situation. Yeah. But if somebody made. asked you like how much you think. Would you expect somebody to spend on a ring for you? What would you say? For me? Mm-hmm. For myself? Yes. What would you say? Three million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a gazillion <Sierra>. billion dollars. <laughs> One. <laughs> I mean, 40,000 40, is, 40, is cute. 40,000 is cute. cute. Yeah. You know, if, if you want to... <laughs> You know, I mean, she said forty thousand. I mean, you know, we could go up to a million, but I want you know, like forty thousand five is- million <laughs> dollar ring. Where it's so it's so big and heavy, I can't even lift my hand. Would yeah. you get it appraised if somebody gave bag. you a ring? Yes, I would get it appraised. Well, is that bad? Is that mean? I don't know. Now I had a discussion with one of my yeah. friends, and we had a whole debate about this. Well, it depends. It depends. Like okay. insurance purposes, uh, yes. What but- if he says it's insured already? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying on the real, would you get it appraised? Because my friend said she would. I said I, I wouldn't. probably wouldn't immediately. Right. Yeah, not a, not right not away. Not right like, away. Oh, got this ring. Got to go get it yeah. appraised. <laughs> yeah, but I would be. I mean, if 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 for somehow I didn't find out some way down the line, and I really really felt like I needed to know or I wanted to know, then I would. Mm-hmm. Just would you ask I'm, him or get it appraised? I would probably just get it appraised. I think it's kind of rude to be like, how much you pay for this? Right. You know, you could just go. You don't think it's rude to go get it appraised? Well, not if you don't know. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Now, what if, you, what if you go and you find out it's not real? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, because then do you go and tell him, then like, what? look, I got this appraised. No, well, then that's spot. when you ask. Like, well, hey, about this ring. And then what if he lies? <laughs> then that's when you slide that paperwork over like, so now y'all both dishonest. Right, right. I mean, it's a hey, fucked up situation. After you can't that. get mad at me for getting into praise if this shit is fake. Right. Who's it, who's worse? And right. at, at the end of the day, you played me. Yeah. What would you do, Avian, if you got the ring of praise and it was fake? <laughs> I don't think I'll talk to the motherfucker for a while. This old yeah, I think we'll, bubble gum yeah. ring. Over this glass. <laughs> <laughs> this old cute. But you would tell him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock. For sure. Mm-hmm. Stephanie, you would tell him. What if I, what? <laughs> Stephanie would tell him. <laughs> She'll throw it at him. What? Oh. Stephanie would blast yeah. his ass. I, I would probably tell him after he's in the hospital because I almost killed him because he got cut. And I would tell him there, like, I cut you because you gave me a fake ass ring. So the relationship's over after that. I mean, it's not, it, yeah, it, it's a lie. Like for that, I mean, it depends. But what could he say well, for you to be a ring if you're going to give me a fake ring? Exactly. Like, Why even go for through me, the ring? It depends on the situation. Like if, um, if, you know, it's a, it's a hardworking, you know, regular guy, you know, who's, who's doing the 40 hours a week. And I went and got the, he got me a beautiful ring and I went and found out it was fake. I would probably wouldn't 
I probably wouldn't be so down on him for it. You know, I probably wouldn't kill him for it. Yeah. But if I'm dating an athlete or a, a rapper <laughs> or something like that and they give me a fake ring. What if he's over. like, babe, I wear fake jewelry. Oh, <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> no, no. You know how they be moving. We don't want nobody then, hating on you, you trying to take your shit. Yeah, no, but you know, if that's, that's the because case, you, you have money. Gave, you should have bought me a real ring and then had a dummy ring that I wear out mm-hmm. and right. keep the real yeah. ring safe. Right. But at least we know we got a real brain. Right. Keep it 100. Right. I think right. it all depends on the situation and a lot of things. Like Stephanie said, if it's a hardworking dude and he doesn't no, have a lot of money, hours. but he feels like you really want a ring and he wants to propose to you mm-hmm. and he has to do whatever it takes to mm-hmm. make you happy. I'll take and the wooden if ring. If it was fake, you know, that would be a problem. But maybe he felt <coughs> pressured that he right. needed to get you a ring and he couldn't maybe afford Maybe he was like, one, one day I'm going to get a real one and replace right. the fake one. Yeah. But it's still a conversation like, God. How like, important is the ring now? Exactly. I was going to say, maybe just How don't get me the ring, the ring right now. Y'all. Right. Just don't get me Don't get ring. it right now. You really feel like that? Can a guy propose to you with no ring? No. That's not yeah, a real proposal. Right. If there is no ring involved. But, I mean, you can go you can go get married without having a wedding. So, what difference does it make? It's only yeah. a piece of paper at the end of the day. No, mm-hmm. I mean, I think so you can So, if your man, so like, so like, man was like, yeah, let's just get married. But no ring. He's just ready to go to the court. You don't think he proposed to you? That's not a proposal. Yeah. That's just yes, going, that's is. jumping right. the room. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's no. getting hitched. No, 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 no. Because if you that's you're proposing elope. marriage when you ask the question, yeah, that's you getting down on one knee. Nothing to do. With what if he says let's get tattoos? It, it's let's get tattoos is a proposal to get like a tattoo. Ring tattoos. No, right. let's get that's like not, instead right? of getting like rings, get a ring let's tattoo, get tattoos. like a ring tattoo. Yeah, like let's get married and then we'll tattoo it. Yeah. Yeah, that's and no that's ring. No ring no it's ring. still a proposal. If he gets down on it's one just knee. that she's like, I'm not having it. And like, my man better bring me a ring. No, if, you how it's it's it. it's, if it's important to you, that's fine. I mean, I don't really know if a ring is all that important as the commitment itself. Right. Because you can have the craziest, you can have a goddamn ice skating rink on your finger and a nigga you, right. treating you like shit mm-hmm. on the low. So, mm-hmm. with me, and at the end of it, what matters is the real commitment and not the materialistic part of it. Mm-hmm. But so, I but but I would prefer to have a ring. Right. That's what I was saying. <laughs> but, <gonna> <laughs> but if I had a choice. But if I had a choice. If you're in a serious clear. relationship and you've been with him for a long time and you're ready for that commitment, you would expect and hope that that moment will be special when he gets Because people don't believe you when you say you're engaged and you ain't you got have no a ring. ring. Right. right. Mm-hmm. When you're like, I'm engaged, but where? we decided no ring. It's like, bitch, where? If you be like, you know you're not engaged, right? right. <laughs> not yet. Oh, wait, not didn't, yet. um, who got married without a ring? I think it was Tammy and Waka. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I don't need no ring. I got a big ass house. Oh, girl. That's now, me. I got a big ass house. I don't I'm need not no mad ring. at us saying, let's not spend money on a ring because we're going to spend money on a house right. instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm never mad at being yep. practical. Right. So I'm not, Avian's mm-hmm. like, right, right. Yeah. But you want the ring. Right. I mean, but if you're doing that, like if you invested in a home for a future family and you know you're going to be together for a while, then the ring could wait, you know? It all oh. depends on a person. Oh my God, how could I well, not we already how got could the I house, forget this? So right. I guess I will be getting a ring. How yeah. could I forget this? The first time I was <laughs> engaged, the first time I got engaged, the guy gave me a cubic zirconia. He wasn't what, a diamond. What, what? Yes. God bless that man. <laughs> and I went, I took it to, I took it to the pawn you shop because I knew the guy in the pawn shop. I was only like 17, <laughs> 18 years old. I took the, I took it to the pawn shop and the guy was like, no, this isn't a diamond. So I was like, all right. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I went to him and I told him, I was like, hey, you know, I took it. Somebody to the pawn ripped you shop. off. Yeah. Like, um, was this supposed to be a diamond? Like, <laughs> like did you know you like, were some did, bullshit exactly. or did they play you, son? So you and bullshit. he was like, no, it's a diamond. You were I was like, like nah. Nah. You hurt his feelings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he but was he was awful. He was an awful, he was an awful boyfriend. Well, he was just awful. He yeah. Was he was I mean, but once you get caught, you might as well tell the truth. Right. But you said you was 17. Yeah, How old was, was he at that time? 18. Like, Oh, he was 31. Oh, okay. Well, he's already disgusting. Right. Exactly. Yeah, because exactly. I was going to say if it was a situation where he was, where he was young, young, like you. Right. No, like, he you was, know. but he had just came out of jail. He was in jail for seven years. Okay. Yeah, here we I go, Stephanie. That, that ring from jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably got it from a Cracker Jack box, man. All we have was fake rocks in jail. <laughs> <laughs> that commissary money. <laughs> You know what? Let me find out he came home and got you that commissary ring. Yo! Oh, yeah, I was you held me down. 
<laughs> Marry me. My now, would you guy. propose to a guy? All right, ladies, let's take a break from lip service and let's talk about Squarespace. Now, we take the internet for granted these days, but the truth is, if you're able to get your own story and message out there, that's an incredible blessing, blessing, blessing. blessing. Now, in 2016, you don't have to rely on someone else to tell the word about what you're up to. What do you do? Well, you get a website. That's right. And whether it's your music, your writing, your fashion, your business, your artwork, because you're doing your clothing line now, right? You're yes. sewing. I'm sewing. And Avian, you're doing I'm your music creating. thing. Right. All right. Well, there aren't any barriers between you and the people you want to reach. That's what you need. The website, like you said, Gigi, that's mm-hmm. where Squarespace comes in. Now, building a website can be tough, but it don't have to be. Even if you know your way around coding, creating something that looks good and works well is a time consuming affair. Whether it's for a business site, a portfolio or a restaurant or whatever else you got in this day and age, you probably need a website anyway. Well, it's very lucky that Squarespace makes it easy to build beautiful websites without breaking a sweat. Everyone I know is using Squarespace. They provide simple, powerful and beautiful websites and they look professionally designed regardless of skill level no coding required not only does squarespace provide you with intuitive and easy to use tools and that's important because let me tell you something when i tried to do my website myself it was a hot ass mess Mm -hmm. All right. And you can't beat the ease and simplicity of Squarespace. It helped me out so much. They give you 24 seven online support. So even if my site crashes in the middle of the night, I can call Squarespace and they'll help me out. And the website is beautiful. So what are you waiting for? Start a trial with no credit card required and you can start building your website today. Don't wait. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code Angela and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. And you'll be showing your support for lip service. We thank Squarespace for your support of Angela Yee's lip service. Now, would you propose to a guy? No. No. Yes. <laughs> of course, no, Stephanie no, yes. would propose. I would. I would ask a guy to I marry can't even me. Picture that. I would ask a guy to marry me. It, it just depends on the situation. Like, I wouldn't propose to just any guy that I'm in love with. I, how would you propose to a guy, though, Stephanie? How would I propose yes. to marry this? To a guy? It depends. Like I said, like would I, would, ring? I would ask my son's father to marry me. You know what I mean? We've been together for a long time. Like I know he probably wanted that at a point and, you know, I didn't want it at that time. And then, you know, if we were to get back together, you know, a big history. There would have to right. be a big, long history. Like I wouldn't propose to somebody. Well, that how would get back together that? with your son's father? Sounds no. Like- I wouldn't. But if I were to propose <laughs> to anyone, it would be him. And I it would not. So and I'm not saying that I want to like marry him. That sounds right like now. a halfway yes. No, it's no, no, yes. no, no, no. That is a half yes. Yeah. That was. I yeah. mean, no, fuck his but girlfriend, yeah. right? No, he don't, they're broken up. He doesn't <laughs> have a girlfriend Get anymore. Get out of here. Yeah, my son's father is single right now. Did he hit you up to tell you that? No, he didn't. But I speak to him. You know, we have a yeah, kid yeah, together, so right. we speak to each other all the time. And but you know, he broke up with his girlfriend. Unfortunately, See, I feel bad. I yeah. no, you don't. I was honestly <laughs> hoping that they would have a baby. You are you are such a liar. You do not like his girl. No, nah, I don't mind her. She's all right. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but I still want to know how would how would you propose to a guy like? I'll be like, you know, what's up. You want to get married? in the Poconos and one of them um, martinis. Nah, I wouldn't get down on, like, remember Chrissy and Jim Jones, remember? Yes. I wouldn't do it like that. I wouldn't get down on, on my on my mm-hmm. knees and, and propose, like, make an invent of it. It would just be like, you know, I was thinking, today's Wednesday. You want to get married? <laughs> today's Wednesday. <laughs> but you would be mad if somebody proposed to you like that. No, it depends. It depends mm-hmm. on the situation. Because uh, for me, for me, marriage is it's not about the ring. It's not about the money. It's about the, the soul connection. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If you love somebody and you feel that soul connection, I feel you should get married. Now, I don't think everybody thinks like that. I don't think everybody should think like the way I do. You know, it's my personal opinion. But, you know, I've been a couple guys have proposed to me. I've right. had I've, I've been engaged twice and I've said no once. You know what I mean? That's three times. Mm-hmm. And and, you know, if Dan, that must be tough for him. I mean, it is what it is. I had to say, I'd be no. feeling like no guys choice. think, I think guys feel like women ultimately want to get married. So right. they, like, they'll say that, let's just get married to make it right. better. And that's not, to that's not, it's the worst yeah. when somebody tries to propose to you when your shit is fucked up. Like that's going to exactly. fix, like that's gonna fix that it. That has happened to me, mm-hmm. you know? So for me, for me personally, I'm not in a rush to get married. I'm not, I'm not thirsty for it. You know, it's not even something that I dreamt about when I was a kid. You know, when I, when I was a kid, I dreamt about living in a house on the hill. 
I didn't think about a, a dog or a white fence. I didn't think about a husband. a husband. I didn't think about any of that. I just thought, hey, I want to live in a house on a, on a hill and I want to bring all my good friends that I hang out with in the neighborhood. <laughs> you <laughs> took my house in the hill. Now, Gigi, I, I, I can see Jeezy proposing. You've been with your man Hell for a minute. No, I'm not proposing. <laughs> but I can proposing. see it. No, I can't. What do you think he would say? He would just look at me like I was crazy, probably. Like, I don't know what he would say. He would, I don't know. You wouldn't but do I it because you think he would look at you crazy? No, or that's just I'm not, not you. I'm not proposing. I'm just not going to do that. I'm just not going to propose. I just, I feel like that's the man's job. And if, no, if I we're going to get married, then that's what he should do. Mm-hmm. If that's what he wants, right? then he should propose. What would he say, though? <laughs> I mean, what do he might be like? Yeah, and they. No. You should go home tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder how that is for for a guy. If a woman proposes to him, does he feel like? Is he like, oh fuck? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why you think? <laughs> no, I don't know. It depends. Cause, bitch, if I'm ready, I'm a, I'm a ass. Right. But you would never ask. I'm not asking. <laughs> yeah. Would you, t- Avian? So you would never ask. I would you never said never ask no. a man to marry me. No. No. That's his mm-hmm. job. Right. Would you, Angela? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I'm not going to lie. Like marriage is a scary thing to me anyway. Mm -hmm. And then that rejection. I'm fine with being with somebody forever and never getting married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That rejection. And he might look at you like. We going on seven Mm -hmm. years. But I would never ask somebody to marry me if I didn't think they would say yes. I'm not asking. But I'm fine with us being. I'm I'm fine. And nothing against a woman that does. To be honest. Nothing against a woman that does ask a man to marry. That's her, you know, prerogative. But I just. No. Now we talked about this earlier. Once you start stop using cons with somebody, do you think you could start again? No. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Like being in a situation, let's say y'all break up, he was cheating, and now y'all get back together. And we that, just gonna have to go take take that trip to the doctor together, and we just gonna have to just trust each other that we we can it's not keep gonna it happen again. kosher because I'm not. We not using condoms. Have you ever like the first time you didn't use a condom, never went back to using them after that? With somebody. Yeah. We used condoms the first time and that was it. And then after that, never mm-hmm. again. <laughs> That's a tough thing to do to yeah. be like, hey, I need you to use a condom now. Right. I mean. Because you see guys are like getting vasectomies, getting multiple women pregnant. Mm-hmm. Like, guys are gross. Yeah. Guys and they don't but like listen, wrap women, we don't like condoms just as, men, just as much as men don't like condoms right. either, by the way. Yeah. No. But I think as a woman, look. These guys out here will fuck anything. Mm-hmm. And like you said, they'll have multiple babies by multiple women. So mm-hmm. are they really worried about themselves? No. A lot of men will be, but I think as a woman, you should protect yourself. Mm-hmm. You know I always think I mean? it's weird too when a guy tries to have sex with you with no condom. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The first Especially when yep. it's the first time. Yeah. Because it's you the first time with if he does it, that means he don't yeah, need condoms. That mean that Because you're not going to make me think them. that you just looked at me and said, okay, she don't She's look safe. Like- yeah, she, mm-hmm. you do that with everybody. You yeah. don't use condoms. Yeah, I feel yep. that way too. I definitely feel that and way. And if you say to him, use a condom. If we get in at it for the first time and you just come straight with no condom, I'm going to just look at you like, and that's we're scary. not even going to do it. That's scary because men are less likely to go <laughs> to the cool. doctor. You shouldn't want it if it's that easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. Men and don't go to the doctor. I think men are less likely a lot to go to the doctor is before what they women. Do. They figure if you don't have nothing, they don't have nothing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but you see women go to the GYN. Yeah. yeah. Like women get checked up for any All little thing. Time. You know and what I mean? if they don't, they should. Yeah, I think as a woman, if, you if you're sexually doctor, active, you definitely go to the GYN and make sure you're good at the end of the day. Because mm-hmm. sometimes nothing... there's things that you can have no symptoms. Yeah. Yep. And yep. you don't even know you have it's something. True. And then you can end up not being able to have kids. You can mm-hmm. end up yeah. having a, a scent. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I think for me, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing better for me when I'm having sex with somebody to feel confident. Yeah. Like to f- knowing that I'm protected. Even if you haven't like, you know, if you're not using a condom with someone you're close to, but you're still not trying to, let's say, get pregnant, there's nothing better for me to feel confident, like knowing that, like I'm protected, like on birth control, or like that I go to my GYN regularly to know that I'm good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I've I've had this conversation with some male friends, and just you know, listening to other people talk, and women, I think, are more likely to go to the doctor than men, Absolutely. and it's scary because men will the be doctor, quick to well, be like, Let me the doctor. Doctor. I feel like they go up there something wrong, something wrong. They right. don't be getting them checkups. They and go up there like. Damn, you know, my um dick is burning or it is. It's, and that's it, scary. It, pee, it burn when I pee. Yeah. Right. And that's scary because like you said, a lot of shit don't give you symptoms. So mm-hmm. a nigga can have something for a year you and then know. think he's cool. And who knows he how many shit he's fucking. Right. And then when it gets worse, he's like, oh, I'm burning. Let me go. 
that's uh, yes. Yeah, you got to be safe out here. Now, do you mind if your um, guy goes on a, a guy's trip? The only thing I can think of when you say guys trip is just like bachelor party. Mm-mm. And we all know that niggas like me fuck and my at bachelor guys parties. Gone, what happens at bachelor parties? <laughs> guys fuck at bachelor parties. They get their dicks up. They fuck. It goes down at bachelor so, parties. So what happens if your man tells you we got to go away for for the week for my friend's bachelor party? Then I already know you fucking. So I'm going to so? tread lightly. Absolutely. You think anytime a guy goes out with his friends, he's fucking? I well, mean, no, she said party, a bachelor, yeah. bachelor party, she said. Not what that if every not guy is party, fucking, though? but what if he's the just bachelor like, is definitely getting some What if he's like, let me ending. just go. I'm going on like a three or four day trip with the fellas. You cool? You think he's not doing anything? That's weird. We going yeah. to DR. Yeah, no. You, you're going to get into some trouble. <laughs> but would he think it's weird if we go Brazil. on a girl's trip? No, girls hang out more than guys hang out with just themselves. Right. If if a guys are going on a guy trip, they got to be going to do something be really manly. Girls. No. Like what? White like water. White water, water like <laughs> fly fishing. Ain't nobody fucking, going no damn fly uh, fishing. Mountain climbing. Right. Like, I don't know. Guys, if a guy's trip, then y'all going to like a ski resort. Like y'all just going <laughs> to go. What if they're like, yo, we going to Vegas just to guys. There's a fight yeah, that weekend. to get out the city. Holes, holes, and more holes. Yeah. Damn. So what does that mean? Every though? other city. So, we but go. what can you say? You can't I tell him you can't go. Right. No, you don't tell him that you can't go. You just know that. Like on that but what if he's calling you every day and checking up FaceTime. and making sure you good? And he's do you guilty. feel more comfortable? No, but- <laughs> or you still like, nigga, you still doing you tonight? What's <laughs> guess what? You don't trust him. We can be FaceTiming and she's gonna be right here. D- somebody, yep. <laughs> somebody sucking his dick right there. Damn, so he can't even be like, yo, <laughs> such and such is getting married. I'm not saying he can't, but I mean, he in the back it, of my mind, think- I'm going to think that it's some bullshit. Going so you think anytime guys are together, it's some bullshit. I'm guys sure. are bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not crazy. I don't Listen, when that. whenever I feel like whenever I'm not around, he up to some bullshit. <laughs> I agree you with you. Like, you like right Gigi. now, I'm I here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doing. Ooh, no, I agree with Gigi. Right now. <laughs> I agree with Gigi. Shit. That's a fucked up way to feel in a relationship, yeah. though. Tell me about it. That's just men. That's how men but make you that's feel. That's the reality. Relationship they, or not. They make you feel that way. Relationship it's just or reality. Not. Just like with the, the blog from this week about putting your phone down. Mm-hmm. And always having your phone turned down mm-hmm. or making sure you got your phone with you at all times when you're in the house. You just walking around the house. You can't leave your phone sit on the table. No, because who knows what might pop up on the screen to get you caught the fuck up. Right. It's the same thing. Yep. That's why shit don't pop up on my screen. There ain't nothing popping no, up on please. my screen. <laughs> but, mm. but it's different for girls and guys, I think. I think, like you said, men are always up to some bullshit. Man, yep. I don't want to have a boyfriend that I don't trust. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it is. I feel good. Like, I yeah. feel like- you know, I don't know. I, I mean, it's great when you have a man that you can trust. Like, Lord, you know, God bless you him, but it's tough out here. If you catch you doing shit, I trust you. Yeah, that's true. I agree. You know, so. If he doesn't give you a reason, then don't worry about it. But if, you know. But if, when you've had you, a reason to be skeptical. Then you, you're going to always be skeptical. Absolutely. Especially me. I've dealt with that. Like, once you find something. But you, you can't never get over it? Takes some time. I think it depends on your personality and and the situation. It takes a lot of Mm -hmm. um, not really proving himself, but actions speak louder than words. Right. So it takes for me to see that you've, you know, changed, so to say, in order for me to be like, all right, he really not on the bullshit. Because you know, I go on girls' trips all the time with my girls, Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, you know. But I think it's easy for girls, like Gigi said, to all go together on a trip and just spend time with each other. Have quality time with we each other. We can go to the guys. Yeah, don't versus guys, it's like where the hoes at? <laughs> yeah, where the girls with yeah. the fat guys asses? can't where's, be around each other candy? and drink and hang out without somehow involving hoes. It's, right? They're gonna go to the strip club. They're gonna do whatever. It's always gonna no, be some hoes around go to one way or another. Sports bars and stuff like that, and watch the game and play cards and no, no. I think it all depends on the person too. There's some guys that are really, you know really loyal and genuine and don't worry about that and they can't hang out with their friends but there's some other dudes the majority that are like where the bitches at damn that's fucked up <laughs> you think it's an immaturity thing though like you think cause one of my ex-boyfriends his mom told me that guys stop cheating when they get too old and tired to do it anymore it's true and it's too much effort mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was like, listen his stepfather ain't stopped cheating until his ass was too damn tired to be running it's in the streets tired. yeah cause it's, it's hard to keep up once you, you know, these guys, they'll have three, four, five, six chicks calling them, texting them. It's hard to keep up. 
This is so sad, man. I feel <laughs> terrible about this whole situation. <laughs> now, what about dating guys who have no friends? I dated this guy and literally he had no friends. Yeah, that's tough. Like, no. none. Yeah. That's tough. And it, it's a little weird because you want to be like, hey, let me get my friends. And, mm-hmm. you know, we all go out and have drinks with your friends, but he, yeah. have, he don't have no friends. That's tough. I was in a relationship like that when I was like 18. And I was engaged to him early. Damn, you was yeah, engaged early. At we were we were together like two two years. He was a good family man. Like my mom loved him. His family loved me. He's somebody that I could see my I could have seen myself in the future mm-hmm. with. So what happened? Um, but you know, we just went different paths in life. Like I just started getting busier. He was just trying to find himself. And then he didn't, he had friends, but he always wanted to spend time with me. Mm-hmm. And that was great. But after a while, it's like, babe, let's hang out with your friends. Let's hang out with my friends. Or you let's, go hang out with your let's friends. Let's all merge together. Like you come yeah. out with my friends and, mm-hmm. or you go out with your friends. And it was always like, no, or I want to be with you. And I'm like, dude, one. that's You're cool. Like, but like, crazy. we need different energy. We need yeah. to be around people. And then. You know, then he just started hanging out with other people, hanging out with other dudes, going to parties all the time and just out of know. nowhere. Yeah. He got friends. Yeah. I mean, he always had friends, you know, yeah. but he he was more secluded to trying to focus on himself and being with me. And I was great. But I'm like, dude, we're still young. Let's have fun. Like, I want to be around my friends. I want you to come hang out with, with my friends. friends. I want to be friends. with your friends. Yeah. Let's let's mingle. I don't mm-hmm. want to sit in your room the whole time. That's yeah. You get bored. And I like to have a boyfriend. I can set up play dates with him and other yeah. my friends, other boyfriends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yep. hey, me, you, such and such, and I want you to meet her boyfriend. Right. I like that. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I like guys that could be social. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's like then it turns into a routine. It's like, all right, I'm going to see you. We hanging out. You coming to see me. We doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. You get bored. Damn. Mm-hmm. And why did y'all break up your engagement? I think we were young. You know, we were real young at that point. Um, We were in a serious relationship, but I think we were young. And again, we crossed paths. We, like our paths just changed in life and we kind of just separated. We went our own ways. But he, he had a baby after that and he was a good dude regardless. So I wish him the best, you know, but it was just, we were just, we started becoming different and that's fine. That happens. All right, now here's the last question for lip service. Now, should you support your man or your, you know, for guys, your women, if you think that what she's doing isn't really that good, if they're not, if you don't believe in them? Like, say they have a dream, a goal, they want to do something, but you don't really think they're that good at it. Should you still be supportive or should you let them know? Should you crush their dreams? If there's a possibility for them to get better at said thing and get professional training or... (laughs) You know, some but well, you might need some professional training. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's a way for them to, if there's a way for you to encourage them to improve that talent right. or mm-hmm. whatever that skill or whatever it is, then you should encourage them that way. But if it ain't no way in hell, like let's just say you want to be a singer, want to be a singer, can't sing a lick, or but been he trying get to sing. Training. Or been trying to sing and he just too old. You, right. You're not going to be in the boy band <laughs> at 45. Because yeah. yeah. you can't be in the boy band, band at 45. Right. So, you don't have that six pack. Right. You just know. So, I mean, it, I guess it all depends, but mm-hmm. you should all, you should never be a yes person. You should never, you should always give the honest truth, whether it's going to hurt someone or not, because in the long run, you're going to hurt them by not right. being truthful mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, and I live my life just being honest and real because right. that's how I would expect the same thing in return. Mm-hmm. But um, I just feel like you just got to keep it 100. And if it's something that you not, you can't get better at, then quit while you're ahead. Right. And let's try to, let's just move on and try some other things. Mm-hmm. Like you never want to be an actor. Yeah, you it's can, just terrible. Yeah. You, you can help them as much as you can. I think, like Gigi said, encourage them and, and help them find better ways to, you know, improve their skills. What if they're not making no money and you got to support them? Why yeah, they, see, hell no. You why why it depends how long. It depends how long because yeah, certain things take time, you know, to, mm-hmm. to, to, to develop. Like, I'm going to be an actor. I want to do this. I want to do that. Help me pay for these classes. I'm, and then when I blow up, I got you. You ain't right. got to work no more. Mm-mm. But how long is too long? How long is too long? 10 years? 20 years. How long? 10 years is a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's a long time, Gigi. If it's been like four or five years and you haven't gotten at least some type of Somewhere. money, even if it's, even if it's a some couple made, bucks, Some man. type of stride. Yeah, even if it's a couple bucks, it's like, all right, let's try to reevaluate what's going on. Let's right. let's see what else you're good at. Let's let's try For to find instance, other options. I just learned how to sew. <laughs> we got to pay the bills. And I'm sewing and I'm making clothes Oh, yeah, I see shit. you sewing. Yes. And I'm going to get better at it. I'm not the best at it right now, 
But I teamed up with somebody that has more mm-hmm. experience mm-hmm. and we're working together and I'm getting better. And he's supportive. Now, yeah. If my shit sucked, I would want him to be like, bitch, stop. But that you is suck. something you could learn. Well, yeah. Even if you sucked at it at first. I mean, mm-hmm. but what if I was the type of person that just didn't dress well and just or what if you like start, all together? What if you started an online boutique selling <laughs> that stuff that you, and you And ate. it was just trash. Yeah. I would want him to tell me like, nah, babe, this shit <laughs> trash. <laughs> you know? No, I feel you. Yeah. So what if it's like, if it's something that they picked up as a hobby and they're doing it on the side and they like build Like photography. Like, yeah. Like that's, I think that's a little better <laughs> versus if it's something that they're not good at, but they're going full throttle. Well, yeah, a hobby's it. a hobby. Yeah. If they have a job and they can pay for their own hobby, go mm-hmm. ahead. No, but what if they want to take this hobby and make it like their full time yeah, gig? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they right. want to quit their job, right. but they're they not good the at hobby. it either. Right. And you got to be like, no, babe, how them bills going to get paid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you no. Know? And then y'all going to break up and then he going to blow up and you can be like, God damn it, I, I should have stayed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have supported my man when he had his dreams. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that was lift service. Yeah, Listen, Amy, thank you for joining us. For you know, sure. we see you every single week. So I wanted to make sure that people got a chance to see who you were. For you know, sure. you rock with us all the time. Yeah. Yes, and ma'am. she's always supportive of lift service mm-hmm. from the very beginning. For sure. Of when we started doing this. This was fun, man. It's like every week you learn something new from the guests that we have here and the conversation. Is and you just always hilarious. chime in too, like when we be <laughs> downstairs talking about our lives and what is happening. Yeah. You know, yeah. what you think about this? Because we talk about a lot of stuff before we do the show. Right. We sitting downstairs. Yep. And it's even hard when you have guests to not chime in you know all right. the shit that the guest is saying is it's just hilarious we've had some good episodes so i'm excited to be on board Yay. for sure the for one sure. thing that i just want to say i want to do that you guys always talk about is sucking dick until you cry yo you man your eyes start watering your nose man. start running man. it don't sound it cool to me but it happens. i mean it feels that's, like yeah, you're gagging you're spit everywhere it's just messy as shit all yep. over your face like um you uncle murder said don't wipe up. those tears you cannot say let them run up. you just gotta <laughs> let it yeah work on it i'm gonna work on that i want to try <laughs> i want to no cry 90s head. no 90s head <laughs> <laughs> all right lift service we'll be back next week all right, now we got to ask you, our loyal listeners, a favor. Now, we want to get to know you. So what we need you to do is fill out a quick online survey. It only takes five minutes. And not only do you help us out on lip service, you'll also enter for a chance to win a $100 iTunes gift card. Music, 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 apps, apps, apps. Now, we know some of you may already have done surveys like this in the past, but we need you to log in and fill this out as accurately as possible. So once we know more about you, then we'll be able to help deliver the show and sponsors that you always want it all right so we got to get some good sponsors that are a great fit and then we get to give you some deals and information on the brands that you care about while we also keep the show free to enjoy every week so all you have to do to make the show better or to win a free itunes or amazon.com gift card is go to lipservicesurvey.com that's lipservicesurvey.com all right help us out please 